we've arrived at the fourth entry in the Silver Case Saga, the 25th Ward. After spending the better part of two years immersing myself in the hyper-violent saga of a digital man's legacy of thought control, social unrest, and his underground upheaval of political order, I started seeing the running thread present in all of Grasshopper's works. All of Suda's games lead back to the beginning, the Silver Case. I've said it before, the Silver Case is the heart of Grasshopper Manufacturer, as well as the eye of the company. This video game band disseminated a discography of B-side games that stood rebelliously on their own sound, counter to the mainstream hits of the time. Punk rock video game development distilled, and their subversive style infects the heart like a virus in game form. Coming into contact with the virus, the host most either rejects it fully or receives it. If received, it becomes assimilated to their core and it will evolve the receptors of the cornea, thickening the corneal layers. The host's eyes will start to blur out the undesirables, then gaining the ability to discern the combustible trash from a postmodern classic. The line between video game developer and auteur also begins to blur. To the untrained eye, Suda is nothing more than a living meme, just a wild Japanese man obsessed with blood and telling dick jokes. To them, his works are to be enjoyed ironically and are often attributed to so bad they're good moniker in passing. I know better. Our digital messiah cloaks himself in tattered garbs and speaks to the masses in platitudes of profanity laden with code. Those that are a part of the cult know how to filter and sift through the surface layers of his word, which deliver us only the granules of his golden art. The Silver Case Anthology is our scripture, and the net is our church. We were raised in the shelters of our isolated bedrooms, groomed from childhood by our screen parents, molded to become more like Format Suda, to carry on his legacy by perpetuating the virus. It is our mission to create a contagnion of appreciation, all originating from Patient 51. A utopia is built, a haven to shield the citizens from the influence of crime. Underneath the surface, a phantom known as Kamoi lies dormant, awakening years later within the 25th Ward to spread his influence once again. His tale runs parallel to the history of the 25th Ward itself, as the first documented case of the 25th Ward virus was once contained to just Japanese cell phone services from the period of October 2005 to January 2006. From there, phone technology had evolved and moved on. It became incompatible with the virus. So the virus went dormant. Once that completely eradicated, rumors of a possible resurgence onto the DS platform were cropping up a few years later. Unfortunately, it was merely the CGC experimenting with the virus. Some say to modify its elements in hopes of weaponizing it. Twelve years later, it arrives on western shores, infecting PlayStation 4 consoles and personal computers worldwide. A new high-definition strain, this time with additional chapter-like symptoms. I speak only to the net from the perspective of a terminal case. I hold the virus within me. I was changed forever. I was interrupted by the sound of loud keyboard clacking in my sleep.
I adjusted the sound effects slider in my mind, and I was at peace again. But that peace was only temporary. I dreamt in vivid gradients, with intangible polygonal shapes, and random strings of numbers painting the canvas of my mind. It was at this point I had lost total control, and succumbed to the repetitive flow of the 25th Ward. I tried medication, but I suspect that I was just given sugar pills, so my body reacted to the suggestion of the mind. I developed an ocular tunnel vision, noticing red points of interest in the world, then pointing at them with my mind, selecting one, and began gliding across the physical realm in automation. Was this another subliminal message from our messiah, leading us to believe that the seven figures of Harmon were just beyond the horizon, waiting to guide us to the new Eden. Our God presented his word to us in the form of the 25th Ward, told to us in a trinity of stories that we could choose from, guiding our vib ribbon-like bodies from chapter to chapter to protagonist to protagonist, all intertwined, all with the common thread of the virus. Our Messiah's premonitions were all tragic tales of humanity's new symbiosis dependency with technology. A warning first issued in 2005 that became revelation in stone. A remarkable tome filled with tedium, repetition, profanity, dulcet synthesized tones, unresting visual projections of violence, sex, isolation, corruption of government, mind, and body. The spread of the 25th Ward will likely be contained to small pockets of people and quarantined from the masses. Some will receive the sickness willingly. Some will gradually cure oneself by inviting smaller, weaker strains inside. And some will be taken by total surprise, entering a state of fevered madness that will forever alter their internal chemistry. Full Assimilation Suda51.wikia.com it's a whole treasure trove of information about Grasshopper Manufacturer. If I'm ever going to maintain superiority as the leading expert on Suda51, then I better memorize all of this. Video after video, the accusations keep mounting. They say I get all my information from Suda51 Wiki, but this is the first time I've ever seen it. It's the first time I've ever been there. It's all true. I, I didn't write any of my own videos. It's all true. I didn't write shit. I didn't play any of these games. I've just been reading it the entire time and nobody can stop me because I'm going to reach the next evolutionary plane. There's only one way to get there and that's to download Suda51 Wiki to my brain. I'm gonna be the best Grasshopper fan there's ever been. <laughs> To be the best Suda51 historian on the internet, you have to make some sacrifices. Not only your time, or your editing techniques, but your sanity itself. I can no longer stand around as a third party citing information that I discover organically on the internet. Time to jack into Suda51 Wiki and download it to my brain. First, I plug this. I'm gonna plug this end. I'm gonna plug this end into the internet. And now I must plug this end into the female outlet of my silver eye. This is the only way to cite information from suda51.wikia.com. This is the only reasonable way that I can think of to become the leading expert on Grasshopper Manufacture without resorting to going to suda51.wikia.com. Let's do it!
Oh, I know everything. Let's begin. Did you know Suda51 used to be a grave digger? Did you know Suda51 helped develop a wrestling game with human entertainment? At the very end of the game, the wrestler kills himself. Did you know that Suda51 once worked with Hideo Kojima? Did you know that Suda51's favorite game is Out of This World? Did you know that Suda51 also likes Heart of the Alien? Did you know that Suda51 named Grasshopper Manufacturer after one of the Ride songs by, by the shoegaze band Ride? Did you know that Travis Touchdown was based off of Johnny Knoxville? Did you know that James Gunn helped write Lollipop Chainsaw? Did you know that Suda51 is a big fan of the Smiths? Did you know that Suda51 doesn't like saltine crackers? Did you know that Suda51 once sneezed on March 7th, 1997, and then a little booger came out and he had to wipe it up? Did you know that Suda51 once had homoerotic thoughts about a co-worker? Did you know it was Mikami? Did you know that Suda51's favorite film is New Wave? The New Wave movie? I've seen it, because I downloaded it. <laughs> Did you know that Suda51 doesn't really like survival horror games? It's his least favorite genre. And then he he didn't like making Michigan Report from Hell because of it. Did you know that Suda51 contradicted himself and made a Fatal Frame game? Did you know that Suda51 prefers No More Heroes on the Wii because of the control scheme? Did you know that Suda51's favorite game he ever worked on was Killer7? Did you know that there was a limited edition of No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle called Hopper's Edition that was only released in Japan? And it came with a movie of some animated comic panels that acts as a prologue to the game and that I own it and you don't own it so that makes me cool? Did you know that he based Henry Cooldown, a.k.a. Travis's brother from No More Heroes, on Ian Curtis from the band Joy Division? He also based Garcia's jacket from Shadows of the Damned on Ian Curtis's Joy Division song called Dead Souls because it says Dead Souls on there. And then he also based the relationship of Garcia and Paula on Sid and Nancy, like Sid and Nancy in Hell. I didn't mention that in my video, but I know it now. I know these facts and I'm giving them to you because I downloaded Suda51.wikia.com into my brain. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I am the first and foremost leading expert on Grasshopper now. Please don't go to Suda51.wikia.com anymore. Come to me directly. I'll answer all questions. I'll field, I'll field all of your Grasshopper questions from here until eternity. Thank you. Have a blessed day.